when we first spoke, I think I was trying to dab away the tears to hear someone say that fatigue is normal after yeah. a brain injury. Already something's been wrong with you. You've already had something wrong with you. And so you don't want to then go, oh my, there's something else wrong with me? What else is wrong with me? When And fatigue is something that's just so hard. It's, just, it's something I speak to personally because it's something that I really struggle with. Yeah. I'm so tired is my most used phrase. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure that I'm not the only person after a brain injury who's feeling that. Yeah, I mean, fatigue is an example of a, um, a symptom which it's possible to manage. Mm-hmm. But it's not like there's a there's a tablet or an operation to get rid of it, and that's that's common to most of what we're talking about in brain injury. The treatments that we're talking about are complex, and so by complex I mean that there are there are multiple strands to a treatment, and those strands interact with one another. And actually, I think this is a really important thing in our field. We have to start to acknowledge that the treatments that we need to be able to offer patients with brain injury are complex. And it speaks to another of the problems uh, and therefore potentially the solutions. So one of the things in in neuro rehabilitation and neuro recovery is we have to admit that the quality of the evidence is is not great. So um, it's not that people don't believe in it, it's just that sometimes the right trials haven't been done. So I think, we need to be able to do trials with bigger doses of some of the treatments that we can already offer. So we've had good uh, experience of that running our upper limb program at Queen Square where we give very big doses and we get very good results. Some people might, might disagree with that slightly and say, well, we need to lean into a better understanding of the underlying neurobiology of stroke recovery, or maybe we need to think about cleverer ways of using technology to help try and promote recovery. And I, and I would agree with, with both of those, but they need mm-hmm. to be investigated in the context of clinical trials. And up until now, we haven't done clinical trials in neuro rehab very well. I think yeah. the reason for that is because people have looked at rehabilitation as a very simple intervention. They've taken just one element of a treatment out and they've subjected it to a, a randomized controlled trial. Whereas the truth is we're talking about complex interventions, whether it's for obvious symptoms or whether it's for unseen symptoms. And we need to be smarter about how we design our trials to take into account the complexity of the intervention. So that's a tough problem, right? I mean, so we we talked about this before, but what we're talking about is how do you, how do you fix somebody with brain injury across all of those symptoms? So, uh, and the brain is, you know, this is a brain injury problem. The brain is the most complex organ in the body. So we're really talking about the, the most difficult problem in the whole of clinical neuroscience. So we really need the smartest, the brightest, not just doctors and scientists and therapists. We need engineers, we need designers, we need performing artists. We need all of those people to bring their expertise around the patient to come up with solutions. And that, I think that's the scale of the problem that, that we're looking at.